Okay, let's take a look at some oxidation reduction questions. I'm sure you teacher referred to these questions as redox questions. New York State has the topic as oxidation dash reduction, so I'm just pretty much giving you both. All right, so let's take a look. So in this first question, you're asked to determine the change in oxidation state for oxygen in the reaction that's given above. So let's take a look. Any element, when it's by itself, even a diatomic, is assigned an oxidation number of zero. So in the case of O2, it would be zero. And then, of course, I'm looking for the oxidation state for oxygen now in this iron three oxide. Well, oxygen now is gaining electrons. The oxidation number is minus two. You can find oxidation numbers on the periodic table that's given by the reagents. The only oxidation number given for oxygen is minus two. So it's actually a pretty easy question. It's going from zero to a minus two. Let's move on. All right, so for question two here at the bottom, this is a separate question with a separate reading passage. And you're asked in question two to write a balanced half reaction equation for the corrosion that forms the copper two plus ion. So if it's forming, it's got to be a product. And those copper ions are coming from copper atoms, as ex explained here in the reading passage. So I'm just going to write it as Cu. Again, copper's alone here. It has an oxidation number of zero. One of the things to keep in mind with half reactions is that you have to balance in terms of mass and charge. And since the copper atoms are being oxidized, don't forget loss of electrons is oxidation. Gain of electrons is reduction. Leo goes Ger. So if it's losing electrons, it means that electrons are a product. How many is it losing? It's going from a zero to a plus two, so it's losing two electrons. So now I have my balanced half reaction. Again, balanced in terms of mass and charge. One copper on the left, one on the right. Zero charge on the left, a plus two and a minus two on the right, adds up to zero. Let's take a look at question three. Actually, we're gonna look at three, four, and five because they are associated here with this reading passage, our potato clock and the potato clock picture. All right, so for question three, it says to state the direction of electron flow in the wire when the two cells are operating. Okay, um, now you're told in the reading passage that zinc atoms react to form zinc ions and the electrons always are going to flow from anode to cathode. Now, what occurs at the anode is oxidation. That's anox. What occurs at the cathode then is reduction, red cat. These are ways to remember this. And we just said with one of the last questions that loss of electrons is oxidation and gain of electrons is reduction. All right, so zinc atoms become zinc ions, so the electron flow is going to be from the zinc to the copper, okay? So let's see, just checking the reading passage, but the answer here would be zinc to copper, okay? For question four, it says write out balanced half reaction equation for the oxidation that occurs. Well, this is the second time now in 2015 where you were asked to write a oxidation half reaction. We already know that we have zinc atoms, so that zinc with an oxidation number of zero going to zinc ions. Now, the charge for zinc ions, there's two ways you could get it. One is you were given this balanced equation, and there it is. 2 plus or plus 2. The other way, of course, would be go to the periodic table, the oxidation number for zinc. There's only one again. So that's a really good thing. It makes it a lot easier. Is plus 2. Okay. So it has to balance in terms of mass and charge. I have one zinc on both sides, but I'm going from a zero charge on the left to 
plus 2 on the right, so of course zinc has lost 2 electrons. So now I have my Bowles half reaction. All right, finally question 5. Why, explain why phosphoric acid is needed for the battery to operate. Well, you need the phosphoric acid. It tells you in the reading passage, it says hydrogen ions uh, from phosphoric acid and the potatoes react to form hydrogen gas. So really the phosphoric acid is there for reduction to occur, right? You have your zinc being oxidized, something else has to be reduced and that's the hydrogen ions in the phosphoric acid. So if you want to write just for reduction to occur, that would be fine. Or if you want to get a little fancier, that's great too. Check out the next video for part two of redox.